here with Dr. Elmar Birkenhoff, who is the chief engineer uh, or the chief technologist at Daimler Trucks North America, and he's about to show us uh, their innovation truck. So can you just tell me what the project's about? Okay, that's, you know, we wanted to put a lot of innovation and technology on a truck which is currently in production uh, because we wanted to showcase to some extent you know, what we are thinking about about future future transportation. Daimler's, Daimler Trucks motto actually is shaping future transportation and part of it is we want to show what we are doing, part of it is that we want to have feedback from customers, journalists and others about what they think about different technologies we feature on this truck to, to get an input, you know, what can we do, what can be done, what is accepted. Now this truck combines a lot of that, but the most important statement that we do that in the very beginning, I say roughly half of the technology we have featured on that truck will be available within this year within this year till end of the year. So we are not talking about the future which is way out there, but we're talking about the future which is actually starting right now. Let me start with, with a, one of the most striking features of it, which is what we call the predictive cruise control. Predictive cruise control. The truck has a satellite system, which is a standard GPS system, which locates the truck on the map. The truck, the map is in this, as well as you have your map in your GPS system. The, the feature on this truck is that the map contains also innovation data. So it knows not only where you are, but also it knows how the road is going forward, whether there's a hill coming or whether you go down. Based on a two miles forecast or information, the truck sees ahead two miles and takes those two miles to slightly tweak your set cruise speed. So you are cruising with cruise speed set and you don't have to do anything and the truck is slightly, and I'm talking about plus minus six percent, which translates in three to four miles per hour up and down your cruise speed. Let's say you have 60 miles per hour, and the truck knows there is a hill ahead. What you as a good driver, a fuel conscious driver would do anyway, you would accelerate slightly to, re to get some momentum to get up this hill. Then in, this, in the hill, you would slow down a little bit, not to pull up the hill like with full speed and so does the truck and if you yeah if you are like if you see that you are on top of the hill you let down a little bit you, you cruise over the top and you gain speed going down uh, and to catch up a little bit with what you have lost uphill essentially this very natural type of driving behavior and again it's very slight variation so barely notice it but that's what the truck is doing to make it sort of intelligent but automated driving so it's actually forecasting road conditions it's that forecasting it knowing because it knows the map and knows the, the, the grades. So that's what it is. And this is in, in, in technology which will be available as of today. That's what we launch right now here at that show. So it is in our innovation truck and we think it's, it's, it's a great innovation. It's actually the first worldwide low-passenger car, no truck in the world has it right now.